Good day, my name is Kobe Cypher and welcome to my channel. In this lesson, we will learn how to build API in Laravel 11. And so to begin with, I have gone ahead to create a new Laravel project. Next, we will create a new model with migration and factory using this command. Next, open the migration directory within the database directory, locate the new migration we created, and provide the necessary columns or the necessary fields. In my case, just two, name and description. After, we go to the category model, and then we place those two fields in the fillable array. And then we go ahead to create a factory and then a seeder so that you can have some basic data to work with. After that is done, we run a migration with the seed. We do that using this command. Since our database does not exist, we need to answer yes to create the database for the migration to run. In previous Laravel versions, when you create a new project, the API route was enabled by default. However, with the new Laravel version, you need to run the following command to have the API route enabled. Running this command also will install Laravel Santum and then enable the API route. Now, after executing this command, you must head to the user model and then add this trait. Now we can add our categories routes. And so open the route directory, within that you find the API, and then within that we add our routes. Of course, the category controller and its index method hasn't been created yet. We can do that using this command. Within the category controller, we can return the categories. By default, Laravel will return the response in a JSON format. Now we can go into our API route file and then import the category controller. Since our API route is public, we can either launch it using a browser or any API client of your choice. In my case, I'll go for Insomnia. But first, we need to have our project running. We do that using this command. Oops, we have an error. I see where the problem is. We need to put a semicolon here. We save our work and then we try again. We launch our API client, in my case, in Somia. We create a new HTTP request, type or paste the local URL, and add forward slash API forward slash categories. We set the headers to avoid a web view being returned, and then we send the request. There we have it. We have created an API using Laravel 11, and then fetch the data from the database. Please don't forget to like, Share, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content. Until next time, stay safe.